What's up guys, welcome back to the Pat Cave. Today we've got an unboxing for you. These are the Ashton Drake Rudolph the Red Nails Reindeers one-to-one -one scale masterpiece replicas. So they are figures that are basically supposed to resemble the original props from back when they filmed the, the movie, uh, the iconic Rudolph movie. I'm a huge Christmas fan, as I'm sure if you're watching this, you probably are too. And you're kind of curious how these new figures are gonna stack up. So go ahead and stick around and we're gonna dive into it right after this. So I think I was, a friend of mine had sent me a message and it had a, an advertisement from Ashton Drake, which is a company I've never heard of them before, but apparently they do um, like dolls, that kind of stuff. But they were gonna be doing some masterpiece figures from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, the old movie, stop motion movie from back in the day. And I've always been a huge fan of that movie and like kind of wanted like some replicas of the characters that were decent quality. And I know that Memory Lane, I think, made some action figures, and then they did some deluxe replicas too, of like Santa Claus and Bumble and some of the other characters, but these ones are kind of supposed to be closer replicas to like the original props. So I'll go ahead and read you what the listing has, and I'll put um, a link in the description, and then it kind of has like a little photo. So what it says is since it's 1964 premiere, the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer TV special has been brightening Christmases, for generations. And now with these Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer figures, you can relive the magic in an adorable and authentic way. Introducing the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer figure collection, available exclusively from Ashton Drake, featuring a one-to-one -one scale to match the original puppets from the movie. And the collection begins with issue one, um, which is basically like how it's gonna work is you're gonna subscribe, or you can just do like one, buy one at a time, but a subscription, so every month, you know, you pay so X amount of dollars, they send you like the first one, in this case, it's Hermie and Rudolph, and uh, um, the Misfit Airplane, and I think two rabbits. And then next, I wanna see it was Santa Claus, and then Yukon Cornelius was after that, and then you've got Sam the Snowman, and Bumble's gonna be in there, they said, and I'm not sure beyond those characters which other ones are gonna be available, but I've seen those in like comments. Description says, masterfully handcrafted of premium quality artisan hard vinyl and brought to life with breathtaking hand painted, breathtaking hand painting and incredible detail. Each one to one scale figure in its collection is made to documented standards. Their costuming is expertly tailored to match the original puppets with true to movie fabrics like felt and flocking. Like, as we know, that's how they were all done back in the day. Uh, these ensembles are so identical, you'll think the historic characters stepped right out of the TV special and into your home. Plus, each Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer collectibles are articulated for dynamic posability and can be arranged to create your own scenes. And like I said, this is the first issue. I just call them issue. Uh, it's like the first set. And then I think, like I said, Santa Claus. I'm, hopefully he's next month. And then I'm going to guess that uh, Yukon Cornelius will probably be in March. These are just, I'm just assuming though, um, if they're monthly or maybe every couple months even, but uh, hopefully by Christmas time, you know, we'll have a complete set or something close to that. And then you can kind of put it up. Uh, my plan is to put, put ours up on the mantle. We love Christmas. I love putting up decorations, but I'm gonna go ahead and do an unboxing because I haven't seen, I've hardly seen any pictures, maybe two photos of these so far. So I thought people that might want to check them out that have ordered these or were thinking about getting them. So let's go ahead and uh, dive into them. All right, so first thing to note is that there's an invoice that was attached to mine, like on the side here, an envelope. And I kind of just pulled that off and, you know, obviously it just said it was paid. It says on here too, which is kind of neat, it's got a uh, Rudolph and Hermie, Ashton Drake, and then the address on there. So let's go ahead and take a look here.
looks like it's this foam insert in here. <clears throat> and it looks like it's got a certificate. And Certificate of Authenticity says it is hereby certified that Rudolph and Hermie is an authentic original in the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer collection. This collectible is only issued by Ashton Drake, produced to the highest quality and artistic standards of Ashton Drake. Upon retirement, no more of this edition will ever be produced. Lori James, Executive Director. And... Oh, it's got like a little how to display your collectibles on the back here. Recreate scenes and these are supposed to be posable, so I'm kind of curious how that's going to play out. <clears throat> and looks like it's just taped closed here. So this looks like the top. It's got a seam. So go ahead and cut that tape carefully. And yeah, here we go. So inside we've got Hermie and the Misfit Plane, two bunnies, and then Rudolph. And it looks like they're packaged pretty well. They have little blocks of styrofoam in each one, uh, kind of holding them in there. Um, so we've got, they feel almost like, I think they're just some type of resin, but they feel pretty, pretty sturdy. Um, there's one of the rabbits. And there's the other one. Nice, nice looking pieces. Put those back there. And we've got the Misfit airplane. These have some good weight to them. They feel like kind of like porcelain almost, but um, yeah, they're pretty nice. Under license, the character arts. Um, there's the Misfit airplane. Propeller doesn't move, which I kind of expected that. It looks fragile, so you probably don't want to be trying to spin it, but um, there's that. And let's see here. And we've got Rudolph. Oh yeah, it's got little pieces of foam in here to keep his legs from breaking. And this is kind of fun too. It's it's flocked uh, just like the show. And someone mentioned that this kind of looked like the Rudolph that was maybe used in the uh, uh, the is it called the 4D um, like the added scenes and everything because they the designs kind of changed a little on the characters. But let me see if I can move the light a little closer. Yeah. So, uh, definitely really cool to see. Um, I don't know if this one's posable. I don't think it is. It doesn't feel like its head is going to want to move or the legs or anything. But, um, yeah, really cool. Red nose, just like the, the movie. It's almost more of like a reddish type of felt or flocked uh, felt than, than the... Uh, I want to say that the movie's a little more kind of like a, a lighter, like a brown, closer to a brownish as opposed to red, but... Um, yeah, not, not too bad at all. Pretty nice. Um, so there's a look at him. And I'll put some more footage here at the end. And then we got Hermie in here. And yeah, they did a great job on these. They're really, really nice. Uh, so there was Hermie. So he's, a. Uh, this, I think that this fur is a little bit different than what they used in the movie. I want to say that's a little, this kind of looks almost a little less uh, tight knit. It's kind of a little more, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but um, the outfits are really cool. Um, just kind of blue, like a, like a dark blue, like in the, the movies. I wish they had done the hair with actual 
um, you know, in the films they, they had actual fabric hair, but, you know, this is a pretty good deal for what you're getting. You're getting, you know, pretty uh, Rudolph, Hermie, the plane, the bunnies, and he's got the hat with like the little leaf on the back, which is neat. You can kind of just, let's see. Yeah, and then you can kind of just stand him up there. So there's Hermie. You got him, you got Rudolph there. And their height, originally someone mentioned something about the height being kind of weird, but they look like they're pretty good sizes, I would say. I mean, Rudolph might have been a tad smaller in the, the special, but they're pretty cool. And then they got the plane. And then we got the bunnies here. And overall, pretty nice. I mean, this is all uh, kind of like, you know, um, flocked uh, fabric on Rudolph. And then the, they've got like the costume sewn. They look pretty close. They got the little, the elf shoes for Hermie on there. And it's kind of dark in this room. Otherwise, I'm trying to put the light closer so everyone can see. But I'm not sure how much this would bend. It looks like you could probably try and move it a little bit. But um, these are definitely more... Like, he's pretty lightweight compared to these other ones. And Rudolph, like, I want to say these rabbits even are a little uh, heavier, kind of like a ceramic almost. But, um, yeah, overall, uh, pretty cool for the price. You know, you get five and five for uh, the price of one. So, and I think the other ones, though, like Santa Claus is going to be, it's said about 11 inches, and Cornelius Yukon is going to be closer to 13. So those are going to, those guys are going to be like standing up here, and you're probably just going to get one at a time for those, like Sam the Snowman. But um, overall, I'm, I'm, I like them. They're pretty cool. Just, you know, for something to put out on display for Christmas. I don't think they've ever made these before, um, to my knowledge. So it's going to be interesting uh, finally having, you know, a set of these. And uh, if, you know, if you want something that's perfectly 100% accurate, I think it's going to be not quite to your standards, but they are really cool for what they are and for the price. So I'm, I'm happy with them. And that's, that's all I wanted was something just to put up for Christmas time. And, um, I'm pretty pleased with them, but I uh, hope you guys liked my review. Go ahead and give me a like and subscribe if you did, and I will catch you for the next one.